Welcome back to the shop. Uh, gonna show you today. You know, I've been working on two cycles for over 20 years, but these four cycles are new to me. So I'm kind of learning as I go by watching other people's YouTube channels and different things. Been working on a lot of generators lately, and a lot of them have these carburetors with the solenoids. And one of the common problems I see is these solenoid failures. So I'm gonna show you today how to test these. I actually seen this on somebody else's page. Uh, I pick up a lot of this off of other people's YouTube channels. They, a lot of professional channels, and a lot of them that's homemade channels, and some of them's a mix in between. One of them I watch a lot and learn a lot. He's doing some pretty pretty good stuff with just basic knowledge and common sense. Uh, Zombie Dave. If, I don't know if y'all looked at his website, but if you hadn't, you might check and pull over there. So first thing you want to do is pull off. And I've already took the bolts out of this solenoid. Now what this solenoid does, it's controlled by power. This goes in and out, in and out. Uh, I see a lot of these that's bad and that's, you know, that's what keeps them from running. So my only goal here today is to show you how to test them. So I take a simple nine volt battery, and get you a jumper. And you're gonna hook that up. And what we're looking for, we're looking to see if that moves. Let me move that where you can see that. You notice how that goes in and out? That solenoid's good. Now, we're gonna switch over here to this solenoid. Now if you see, it does not move not any let's go back to this other one so i can make sure you understand what i'm talking about here see how that point moves if it doesn't do that then you've definitely got a bad solenoid it's just a simple easy way don't take nothing but a nine volt battery just a few minutes to check it out